Midlachlan Landcare has been running the Growing the Grazing Revolution project for 13 years. Midlachlan Landcare is made up of people who want to influence the landscape and our community who live in it. The project aims to build the skills of local farmers and increase the capacity in our local community in grazing management. I'm Andrew Woodridge. I'm a committee member of Midlachlan Landcare and a farmer near Canoundra. The way grazing is done, farm by farm and paddock by paddock, has a big effect on soil health, water quality and biodiversity. Decisions that are made by farmers at a paddock scale can have a positive or negative effect on the environment. Midlachlan Landcare supports grazing systems that are good for business, good for the catchment and good for the landscape. My name's Scotty Hickman and I'm the facilitator for the Growing the Grazing Revolution project at Midlock and Landcare. I try and get people to share information, share their knowledge, share their passion. Um, I do this in, in various different ways, but I, first thing I try and do is meet people at their level. Over the past 12 years, GGR has done a huge amount of different things. From our large field days, we usually cater for somewhere between 60 to 100 people. We also do small cluster meetings which usually involve about you know, six to twelve people. These meetings are really important because you're dealing with localised things that are happening, management decisions, practices, all those sorts of things. But that's where the confidence builds up uh, with a lot of people in that local area. They, they grow in confidence to be able to share heaps of information. I spent a lot of time travelling around the area talking to peer leaders and it came clear that there was a lot of information that people wanted to share. So we do a number of different things to support our peer leaders. One is we have taken them on uh, trips around to have a look at um, other businesses or it could be conferences or field days or things like that. Uh, we also involve them in some training occasionally when we can just to uh, improve their skill level as well. I think the biggest support we can say for them is that they feel involved and they have a little bit of ownership of this project as well. So they're getting as much out of us what we're getting from them. I'm Wendy Bowman. I'm a local grazier from Canoundra and chairperson of Midlachlan Landcare. I'd heard about holistic grazing management in the late 90s and it just made so much sense to me. I did a holistic management course then and was keen to put it into practice. It was at least 10 years later that Scott, through the GGR project, organised to have the Grazing for Profit School come to Canoundra. And I've been doing time-controlled grazing and keeping grazing charts ever since. Farming's a pretty lonely profession. You often don't have others around to bounce ideas off. So having the support of the GGR network enabled me to put the training into practice. It added the extra confidence. As I got more involved with GGR, I offered my wool shed to host the dung beetle field day. From there, I hosted the soil health field day and several GGR cluster group meetings. Being in a room full of people who'd been doing time-controlled grazing for a long time just took you to the next level and avoided becoming complacent about what you were doing. The 2017-2020 drought was a real test for the GGR grazing principles. During that, Scott visited my farm a couple of times. It was great to have a second set of eyes look over my property he gave the added confidence to make the really hard decisions, like selling down breeding stock. So when the next drought comes, and it will, those decisions should be a lot easier to make. Midlachlan Landcare has an advisory board made up of local farmers with a wide and varied range of experiences in grazing management. The GGR board runs the project as part of Midlachlan Landcare. When a board position became vacant, I really felt that I wanted to give back to the project that I'd got so much out of. So I put my hand up for that. So the Growing the Grazing Revolution board 
plays an incredibly important role uh, to support me in, in what the job that I do uh, for Midlock and Landcare. We're very lucky that the board has a, reflects the diversity of our community. We have all sorts of levels of uh, farming and different farming practices, all ages. We're very lucky that we have a wide range in age groups as well. We're also very lucky that we have some wonderful women involved on the board as well, which bring a different perspective to what we're doing. Also means that we actually are a lot more focused on our best bang for our buck with the resources that we actually do have. But I think probably the big one is it keeps me rounded and grounded and focus on the outcomes we want to achieve for the project. I can run lots of ideas past the board and they can keep and make sure that we're relevant. And I think that's really important too, that they bring from all their different aspects and where they're from in, in various areas of the mid Lachlan area, that what is going to be relevant, what do we need to concentrate on to achieve some of these wonderful goals that we want to achieve. I'd advise another group not to underestimate the demand that might actually be out there for a project like this. That was our experience, that we found that people just jumped at the chance to have the support. First thing I would think about if you're going to start up a project like this is, is it the project that your area requires and do you have enough support uh, to be able to run a project like this? Is it what the area would like to do? Very important that you have involvement for anybody who would like to come along. Very important that you don't lecture or think you have all the answers. Don't have an agenda that you're trying to push on everybody else because everybody's going to be very different as to what they require from it. But you will probably have a common goal, vision, and probably a common outcome that you'd like to achieve. Be a good listener. Where do people want to start? What specific project would they like to do? and how do they want to achieve that over whatever years you might have. And probably the other really important one, what resource base do you have? Uh, do you ha only have enough resources to do a certain amount of days or a certain amount of events? How can you get the best out of the amount of resources you have to achieve those outcomes that you'd like to achieve? When we're thinking about being uh, farmers in our landscape, there was a few clear things that uh, seemed to work really well one is that their farms were, had permanent ground cover. Um, their farms seemed to have a rich biodiversity happening in their landscape. Their soils were quite often beautifully you know, living in healthy soils. And all of them had clear goals for their businesses, their landscape. And we want to have people involved in agriculture and have really resilient, strong landscapes that can actually cope with agriculture because everybody relies on a farmer three times a day, seven days a week.